What's going on guys? Cerebro here, T3G. Full throttle. I wanted to make it awkward, dude. I was gonna just like stare at you. Just stare at me? And Why? Just like make it as awkward as possible. I guess. We're All going, right. uh... I'm gigantic because I have two jackets on. I Dude, that's, I how, I think and that's how everybody feels because I got like yeah, shirts I, I, upon shirts. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm 700 pounds right now. I'm just like, oh, I can't fucking move. You won't be feeling like that after this meal. I'm saying. <laughs> well, this guy... Okay, so I'm... I like burgers. I'm a big fan of burgers. I, um... Turn this down, so... A little bit. Background noise. Uh, I... I Smash Burger is the joint for me. I mean, that's... That has so far been the best mushroom Swiss burger uh, you do like I've ever had. Smash. Uh, I've ever had it. I mean, and their burgers overall are just delicious. The, the, the actual patty itself, um, yeah. not, not even just you know the fancy burgers, but I mean, a mushroom and Swiss is pretty basic, and their mushroom and Swiss is, I think, 99% of the time it's fucking perfect, and it's one of those things that a few places get really well done. Um, before that, it was Denny's of all places. Yeah, it was Denny's, yeah. and then, they do have a pretty decent. And I've been to uh, some like Swiss. local joints that should have the best burgers, you know, because that's kind of the you know the myth is that you know the more local a place is, the the less known it is, the better the food is, right? Or the more rundown. Yeah, yeah, if it's, if it, yeah. That's, that's the other option. Um, you know, if they don't have any money, they can't pay for stuff. That's but, right. But you know, and that's kind of how it's always been. But it, it's. They're, they're never good. Like, burgers at smaller joints have never been that good for me. And, you know, we were talking the other day, and we passed by a Fuddruckers. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever actually been. You know, I think uh, there's I been think talk. one time But been. The, the big thing that I brought up was that people are always talking about how Fuddruckers is the burger joint. And see, to me, it's not. I mean, the one time I had it, I had a burger because that's what everybody was telling me to get. Right, like, get that burger. You get. That's what you get there. Because it's 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 supposedly good. And I wasn't, from what I can remember, I wasn't wowed. Was it a good burger? It was a good burger. I've had better. Right. So it wasn't. That's why, like, you know, and, and my response was, you know, everyone always says that, but like, Smash Burger is the joy for me. And his kid's like, really? Really Smash Burger? Here's the thing. I like Smash Burger. You know I like Smash Burger. I, I, I like Smash Burger's uh, chicken, uh, really, yeah, because, their, I their mean, really a lot well. of their places cannot really do chicken good because they make it dry. Where Smash Burger yeah. uses a thinner meat, but it's still... It's Smash Chicken. It's, it, but it's still got that moisture to it, which mm -hmm. is really, really good. I'm really impressed with it. But, burger-wise, right now, hands down, out of... Most of the burgers that I've had, if you if you're comparing Smash to Red Robin, Red Robin has better burgers. I, Red and Robin I don't know. has better burgers. I've been maybe twice, maybe three times, and I don't and know I what don't you've remember. tried. I don't remember. Right, so. and I don't know what you've tried. Like the one I well, like, you can't say that. You can't say, oh well, it, only like this one burger is really good. No, I wouldn't say. I've had I've had a few different burgers from. Well, I've had a lot of things from Red Robin because I've been I've been to Red Robin quite a few times and. And I've enjoyed their wraps, I've enjoyed their burgers, but the one burger that, well, there's two of them that I get, but the one I get most of is, I believe it's called the, like the American, I forgot the name of like the American barbecue burger or something like that, but it's, it's amazing. Okay. It's, it's so good. It's got uh, um, like the smaller onion rings or fried onions or onion or whatever. Okay. Um, but it's smothered in this sauce. It's just, it's amazing. It's, it's so good. They have a blue cheese one that I also order, and that one's really good, too. I'm not going to lie. That's a really See, yeah, blue cheese, I'm but not, I hate That's why cheese. I don't want to have you try the blue cheese. I think you're going to enjoy the, the American burger. I, the I mean, one if, they that don't, I if they have a mushroom and Swiss, that's what I'm ordering. Well, if they have a mushroom that's, that's and Swiss, the bar. Yeah, that's the bar. That's the bar. Right, right. That's yours. So, I'm a I mean, big they, fan of mushroom and Swiss, and I know when it's good. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I just can't remember I, because they, it I has mean, been a little bit of time I, since I've been. There. I, I would say they and have I never to, but looked. They, I never looked for a right. mushroom Swiss. So I and know. I would say they would have to because I believe that to be like a core variety of, of cheeseburger is the mushroom right. and Swiss. But a lot of places don't. You know, you'll say, "Oh, do you have a mushroom and Swiss?" And they have seventeen different burger varieties, and they'll say, "I'm sure we can make one." Right. Like, well, that means you don't have one. That means you don't know how to make it. Right. <laughs> and that's where it comes down to, like, well, you don't know if they're gonna make it good because clearly, well, we can make it. Yeah, I'm sure we can put something together. Well, I'm that's sure not you what can. I asked. I could too. <laughs> like, that's you not know? what I, I can do that at home. I do do. But I can uh, do some experimenting. And, and let, let me. When we're touching on the subject of burgers and doing it at home. 
Five Guys is awful. Five Guys is home burgers. I can make the exact burger you get at Five Guys at home. Yeah. And so the only good thing about and you can't get a mushroom and Swiss. You can't like they just have the burger and you can throw on a couple things. Yeah. But I was I was mad. So the first time I went, I was kind of like, all right, I can do this at home, but sure, whatever. You do get a lot of fries. You get a lot of yeah. fries. That's the only thing uh, you, you get can like say. a pound and a half of fries. And then I went the second time, thinking maybe it was just kind of a, a, a bad, a day bad or experience. Yeah. And because I've had a bad day at a, yeah. a Smash Burger before, which is funny because that location closed now. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, but it, it wasn't just a bad day because the same, like different location, same experience. Right. And I was mad because I like. Make it look too. It's not, it's not hard to do a burger, and it's not hard to make it better than your average home burger. Right. Because the patties are like no joke. They tasted like the home you know, patties. It, if you if you yeah. bought like the the twenty five pack from Sam's Club frozen yeah. and and put it on the grill, like that's what it tasted like. Because I've done that. That's why I know how it tasted. Next one. Next one. And um, I mean, you could do this one, but this goes through the. House. But like I've I, like literally. Two months ago, maybe three months ago, my mom bought a grill, and I said I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some burgers. Right. And I bought some ground beef. I bought some vegeta, which we'll throw up a picture here because that's some that's some Bosnian stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's where. Yeah, you make uh, right here. It's right by that coals. It's actually right, right. right at the main entrance. And uh, you know, I put some vegeta. I put some uh, paprika, as you Americans say it. And, <laughs> paprika. Uh, and. Uh, and that was jam. Dude, I made it. I, I had one, and it was so delicious. Right. It was so delicious. And I just, it was one of those things that I don't make my own burgers very often. Right. But, man, when I do, are they good? Well, the thing is, it's what, what's funny to me is me and you had literally the same, we had the same experience or the same, like, and we didn't even go at the same time. We've never been to Five Guys together. But no. when we talk about our experience, we always say the same thing, which is it's nothing special. It's literally Not a burger all. I can make at home. The only thing I can say about it, oh, how lucky are we? Right. The only thing I can say about it, it's real beef. Like the beef itself, the meat patties taste like real Beef meat patties, like right. I mean, like, it's it's better than McDonald's. Is right. What I'm saying. You know, it's not you know? a McDonald's burger. It's like it's like, but actual... it's not a Smash Burger. It's not even it's not even a Meatheads, and I don't like Meatheads. Yeah, and the only thing <laughs> is, is like, that's all you can say about and the and the big fries. But like Meatheads is flat out the, the joint that I would not recommend to people. But I think it's to me, to me, it's eat. like one, it's. The price of it is not worth it because it's just a regular burger. No, for eight and, hours? And it got so hyped, so hyped from New York, and then I go try it, and I'm like, why is everybody hyping a burger? Like, it's just a burger. It's nothing else. It's nothing special. There's no extra flavor. It's weird. It's strange. I, I, I don't understand. Yeah. People go to places for just the hype. Uh, for instance, we just got an Umami burger in Chicago. Uh, that was that one joint, right? That yeah, that's the one. Uh, DeFranco was talking about it on uh, I think a vlog a few. A few oh, weeks ago, I thought you were talking about the one. He was saying, you know, he was we saying well, people Watsky. people go there and they were talking about, uh, you know, you got to go to this place in in LA. He's like, no, he's like, if you're coming to LA, you got to have a mommy burger. Like, so that's well, the, we like, got to try that out. So it's, it's not when weird. I saw it in Chicago, I said that's the place I got to check out yeah. because it's one of those things that you know, there's been a bunch of burger joints around here that are good and they've been around for a long time. So having a variety is cool because right. yeah that we had I don't even remember what it was called on the way to the Watsky concert we had something I forgot the name of I the completely joint, forget what it was, it was really called good. but it was just like a small joint but it was really good. um it just yeah I mean maybe 10, 15 people could sit down like not a not a lot of space yeah not a big joint at but all. awesome they had like some craft beers. Good burgers, really, really good, good burgers. burgers, just really, yeah. really good burgers, and fries too. Really good fries, really good fries. Just a lot of good stuff, but it's one of those things that no one knows about that place unless you're in the area. So yeah. we, we passed by. I think we like looked it up on a map and said burgers, and that's what came up. That's where we went. Yeah, it was, I mean, I like it. Was that. Good. I can't wait to go back again. To be honest, it was a jam. But yeah, so, so we're gonna... today's obviously the cheat day. Yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, Red Robin just the burger is like thousand to twelve hundred calories. So. Calories. 
It's, so today's it's obviously stupid. the cheat day, and this Plus wouldn't this wouldn't fries. have even happened if this discussion hadn't happened, because we don't we don't plan cheat days. It's just one of those things that it just happens. If it hits, it hits, and it's a cheat day. Because, yeah. and I, that's kind of my my opinion is I don't think you should necessarily plan to have a cheat day. Yeah, no, I don't plan Cause that because like, then then you might like you might go overboard. Yeah, because I normally like the way I go with everything. Every day is I'm gonna eat clean. Yeah. And if it happens that that day, for some reason, like we had a discussion yesterday, and we we're like, hey, we're going to eat Red Robin, well, that's our cheat day. That's going to be the the day we're just going to You're, you're going to take the hit. You're going to take the hit. Maybe maybe spend 20 more minutes on, on the treadmill. <laughs> right. Yeah, 20 more minutes. <laughs> but, uh, 30. but, yeah, so we're going to go over <laughs> right here, right in front of us. So we're going to go in here. Have a burger. We'll come back. And we'll, we'll see. see we'll see. Uh, I might be this big yeah. now. <laughs> we'll see your reaction. You'll tell us. Uh, you know, you'll let the yeah. audience know if it's actually good. Yeah. Burgers. I mean, I'm sure it'll be good. I just yeah, I mean, I'm sure be, you're going to enjoy it. I don't best. think you're not going to like it. I think the... Should be interesting. Is it going to be better than Smash? That's 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 the bar, It's man. definitely bigger than Smash, I'll tell you that. Yeah. They yeah. are big burgers. They are big burgers. I'll see what happens. All right, guys. See you soon. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. All right. So I'm feeling about three times my size right now. Oh, dude, so full. I mean, I you know what? The, like I told you in the restaurant, for me, is the beer. The beer. The beer definitely does the it. Beer fills me the up. Beer bad. is just like a, a significant amount of calories. I should have went with water. <laughs> and yeah. saved. And saved. Save the space. Seven dollars in the space. <laughs> beer, so, beer is very expensive. I, I decided at to restaurants. Stop. <laughs> I, stopped, I decided to stop drinking beer on a regular basis because. Very expensive, especially the type of beer that I get. Like, you can get three dollar beers. Two damn cool for windows. You can get three dollar beer, but you cannot get three dollar beer if it tastes good. Yeah. So because you know, I, I used to be an MGD man. That's all I used to drink. And then four years ago, when I started dating my uh, my, my now fiance, we went to a craft beer uh, review. And it was 24 breweries. Jesus. I'm sorry. No, it was 42 breweries. That's what That's it was. Even it was 42 <laughs> breweries. Uh, we were drunk by the time we got to 21. No shit. Because uh, you get like four ounces. And they don't listen to you when you say just just a taste, just a little bit. No. They're just like, shh. Yeah, it's a taste. Full. full. Hey, so, taste. I mean, I, I think, and, and I my palate broadened so much in that one day. That that night when I went to shoot pool, I uh, I'm like oh, I've been drinking beer all day. Let me get some more beer. Some MGD. I'm like, give me a pitcher of MGD. They and brought you were me like, this is shit. Not even joking. <laughs> I poured myself a glass, took a sip, <laughs> kind of looked at it for a second, handed it to my buddy Len, and I said, Lenny, this is all you. All, all yours. yours. Like, the entire all person. yours. I'm done. Never I'm done with MGD. Oh, so man. now it's uh you know in. Well, when I was drinking beer, now that I won't be drinking beer, it's not a problem. But right. when I was drinking beer, it was like, oh, all you have is MGD. You sure you don't have some Newcastle, right? Some, 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 you know, craft beer? No, no, just MGD. All right, if that's all you've got. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. You know me, I don't normally drink. So, but I figured this was a cheat day, and we haven't been yeah. to like a restaurant like this, me and you. In a while, so yeah, you know this. It was cool to like relax, and we met Maggie uh, <laughs> from Walking Dead. From The Walking Dead. Yeah. No, it was our, our uh, waitress. Uh, looks her, her almost Aaron? exactly like yeah, I'm Aaron or something. I feel like it was Aaron. Um, her name was. We think her name was Aaron, uh, but she looks spot on like Maggie from Walking. It Dead. was weird because I was like, the, when we sat down, I was like, why do I recognize this girl? Same Did she here. go to school with me or something? Like I must have met her. At an event or so. Nope, nope. And then I looked at him and I'm like, "Hey, you know Walking Dead? You know Maggie?" And like, and he's like, "Yes, she looks just You're like exactly her." Exactly correct. This is exactly <laughs> yes. Um, so that was that was fun. But what'd you think? I, we got so the burger I was talking about earlier was the Whiskey River Barbecue Burger, and that one I enjoy a lot. Today I got the sautéed shroom burger, and it was it was all right. It was all right. I wouldn't. I definitely love the whiskey, but this was this was all right for a Red Robin burger. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, I because um, from what I'm used to, but he's not sure. really used to much. Yeah, from Red I don't. Robin, I don't. So. You know, I don't have really any memories of, of Red, right. Red Robin. So 
So this was okay. You think it? I, I think I you said it. if it was on I a different it, bun. Yeah. So I got it exactly the way I get mushroom and Swiss pretty much everywhere else. Yeah. I got a fried egg on it. Sure did. Um, the issue that I always have with uh, other restaurants besides Smashburger and and uh, the fried egg is that they either underdo it or overdo it. Right. They're, it's right. never as good as Sm Smashburger because Smashburger does a really nice over hard, get a little crispy. It's perfect. You know, she asked me, do you want it over hard or do you want it... Uh, sunny side up. Sunny side up. Like, there, I, mean, I meant to say Smashburger does like an over medium. You still get a little right, bit right, of the sure, juice, sure, sure. but it's still nice and crispy on both sides. I love the yolks, so I always try to do yeah. over easy. So, and they they just, it was just sunny side up, which wasn't a problem. It was a good egg. Mm -hmm. Um they use really good mushrooms, but they're not as fried as they are at Smashburger. Right. Um, they were just kind yeah, of they definitely lightly were. sauteed. Yeah, they were definitely sauteed. Yeah, lightly, they were lightly sauteed. sauteed. They weren't as as well fried as, uh, not deep fried, I mean, but just like fried on a pan. Right. Uh, as as they do it at Smashburger. And it, it, while it was a thicker uh, patty, it wasn't, I can't say that it was a better quality patty. Right. I don't feel like they actually put much seasoning in theirs. Uh, yeah, which, actually, which isn't a bad thing because it does work. I mean, it does work as a good, a good yeah. uh, mushroom and Swiss. Uh, I feel that if it was maybe on a brioche bun and egg bun, uh, like the smash burger one is, I think that would be uh, a lot better. Still, We're do a quick slide. Oh, uh, it's still better <laughs> than Five Guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's not that's not hard. That's to not much to say. That's not hard to um, beat. I like the. I think the reason why I like the uh, whiskey river burger is because of the sea, like of the. You get the fried onions on it, mm -hmm. and then you get that barbecue sauce, the whiskey bar river barbecue sauce, and it's just it gives it that amazing taste. I think you would enjoy that a lot. I, I, yeah. I think next time, next go around, you should definitely try that one out. We I do got also two. Have, My plan uh, was to cut two burgers in half and have half of each. Uh, but I, like I just kind of I just kind of yeah. went nuts with the with the. the I think it would have been switch. also a problem. So I got the uh, what is this the uh, prime chop house or something yeah, like that. Yeah, prime, prime prime house chop prime yeah. chop house something like that. Something like that. Uh, but it looks good. Uh, I'm gonna probably have it either. It smells good. Either for late dinner or um, we'll have breakfast we'll tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, he wants to try it. So I'm gonna split, split it for dinner at some point later. We'll try some. But. Yeah, now we're. I mean, gonna... not bad experience. You no, wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Not, not bad at you all. You wouldn't kick it out of bed. <laughs> no, <laughs> if, if, if bed was where I ate. No, we're not. But uh, that was bed. good. That, yeah, I mean, we had a good time. We met. You know, I, it was fun, Maggie. Maggie. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool because she knew the walking dead. She was super was, excited about she it. Was super she, excited. she did like a little jump and everything. Yeah, yeah. She was. That she was, was happy funny. to hear that. So it was yeah. kind of cool. Uh, but what do we we got? Uh, we got to go. Well, another got, computer problem is the, the server. Problems. The server uh, board finally died out on me. Yeah. So I have to not finally. I mean, it's only been up for about two, three months. So I have to go and uh, get a new board, get a new processor because mm -hmm. it's running on eleven thirty six processor and uh, uh, thirteen sixty six. Thirteen sixty six. Thirteen sixty six, and I'm not Intel. about to spend two hundred dollars on a board. So yeah, unfortunately, they don't make I the can, boards I anymore. Can spend so that people much sell them both, for too much. Yeah. So. so we'll go. Uh, we're gonna pick up some AMD parts. We're gonna get the same MSI board that we got uh, that I reviewed. Nine seventy, which has the con contest. Yep, definitely, and then. Uh, we're also picking up an 8350, mm -hmm. and most likely a new power supply, just because we don't know how well that power yeah, supply. Yeah. I heard a lot of coil whine on that when it was like shutting down. Uh, I, I know you're gonna we'll, hear. We'll some try. We'll try it out whine. with the new power supply first, just to just make in sure case. that's not it. Yeah, just in case. Uh, but. but otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll we'll probably have to do another uh, rebuild video, and uh, I have to. Uh, you know, this will be before the 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 part two of uh, my main system rebuild. Yeah, but I do have to send back uh, yeah, really. the ASUS board because uh, surprisingly, the the flash of the BIOS didn't fix the hardware. Surprisingly, because no, uh, I told you, I remember I said you, you plug in three, you plug, you plug in one USB device, no problem. Two USB devices, no problem. You plug in a third USB device, touch, just touch Man, any I, other I, USB I, device. I hovered. Let's and be serious. I disconnects. hovered over the It disconnects other any of them. USB it just disconnects it just randomly. Disconnects. So there is a short on the board, and they didn't listen to me when I said that the first time. This time, I might 
I'm probably going to be a little bit more aggressive with them. I'm going to call them. I'm going to yeah. make them pay for shipping. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to get myself either a replacement. Well, no. I'm going to get myself a replacement because they're not going to re re no. rerun the circuit tree on that. No. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, that'll uh, that'll come through fine. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm going to have to buy another MSI board. Another MSI board. And, we and just set a strongly worded tweet. Uh, but, uh, which is a shame because ASUS is a very, very big company big when it comes down to stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it's a shame to see that, like, I watch a lot of um, Linus Ted Tips and um, uh, Tech of Tomorrow, and they always have ASUS on their channel and talking with them. And those guys seem like they're very, very passionate about their company. But then you get these customer service reps that we worked with, and they didn't know anything. They didn't know what was done to the system. They didn't know, you know, all they knew was like, oh, it's on the way back. Well, okay, that doesn't tell me what was done. And then, oh, it might have been reflashed. Well, we know a reflash didn't, was, wasn't going to work because I told him straight up. I said, when he... And I don't the BIOS anyway. Yeah, when we, see, when we saw the problem, I said, we can update the BIOS. This is most likely a hardware issue, not a BIOS issue. And I don't want to update the BIOS because if we do, they're going to say we did it wrong. So we just left it be. Uh, because everybody, you know, not nothing against ASUS, but most companies will try, try to argue get out of their with warranty. you. Yeah, they'll, it, it's a fact. I've dealt with plenty of them, and it's a fact. Yep. So um, at least, you know, maybe the higher up ASUS companies are better about it, or higher up ASUS company, higher up reps, like the ones you see on YouTube channels that actually are real representatives of the company. Maybe they're like, oh, we really want to help our customers. But you know what? That's not what we get from their actual customer service right. reps. So, sorry. They, you know, experience is experience. But here's hoping they fit, you know, replace it. I'm I really, so. I really don't want you to, like, take it apart again, send it in. They send it back to you. We put it back together and nothing. So, right. uh, ASUS. Get on God, that game. God, I hope you guys fix this problem. But, yeah, so we're going to Fry's again. Yep. We're going to go pick up some stuff. Yep. Spend some unnecessary spending. Because I can't be without a computer. You got video editing. Yeah, we got too. video editing to do. This is this is your the the backup. This is failed. the backup. Yeah, the backup has the failed. Backup so. has failed, so we, we don't really have a choice. So yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so we'll see you. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll most likely record a little more throughout the day because we will probably record at fries or something like that. Maybe if they don't say anything, I don't know. Certain companies are weird. Who cares? Yeah, we'll see. So we guys see you uh, see you in a bit. Yeah.